Hello everyone, this is Robin with MyPinkStamper.com. Welcome to my latest video tutorial for you. Today, I'm going to be sharing how to do a little bit of packaging. So it doesn't really matter what you're going to be packaging. I'm just going to show you the concept of a fun belly band that you can add to any of your gifts of any shape and size. Uh, what I'm going to be using is this folder. I have some team uh, promotion or team sales awards I'm giving to some of my team members on my team of pink stampers and I wanted to do just a quick belly band around this so let's pretend this is the one I'm using and you can change the size out of the different um, belly bands that you're using and I'll show you how to do that now I'm going to be working with these materials here and I will tell you everything that I'm using right on the screen. So if you'd like to place an order in my on my online shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampinup.net, I will have the name and the item code for you. Please don't forget to check out mypinkstamper.com to see if I have a weekly host code where you can earn goodies from me. All right, so I'm gonna set these aside. I'm kind of using just a mix and match, mix, is that right, mix and match? Just a mosh, just a little bit of amount of a bunch of different items. I'm gonna go ahead and start right now with, I'm using some of the, I think it's called Coffee Break Designer Series Paper. This comes in a package of 12 by 12. This one's already cut down a little bit. I'm using both sides of this. This is a really fun idea to use some of your scrap paper that you have, some of your extra Designer Series paper. You're only gonna need a two inch strip for the belly band, and then you can cut it down different sizes. I'm keeping mine at the full 12 inches for the size that I'm using. And then also, we're just going to use a tiny little bit of this heart over here. So I'm just going to do a little strip. We're going to use it this way. And then I can put the rest of my scrap away to use later. All right, now we're going to be using the Big Shot. This is the Stampin' Up! Big Shot. My best friend! I use this all the time, almost on every project that I use. Now we are using this piece here. Save your belly band piece of paper and just set it aside. And I'm using the coffee cups, which are amazing. They coordinate with our two different coffee and apple cider, apple spice. They coordinate with Mary Cafe and then our coffee, I will have it on the screen. <laughs> I can't think of the name right now. I don't know if it's coffee, coffee cup, coffee breaks uh, stamp set. So it coordinates with two of them. And I'm not using either of the stamp sets for this project. I'm just going to be using two of the different cups. I'm using the large cup. And then I'm also using just the, the, you know, the slider thing that you put it in. I can't think right now of the name, the name of it. And I'm also using the lid. So these are the three that I'm using. So the one that I'm using right here is I'm just going to have this be the, it'll come to me in a minute. The coffee holder thing and then I'm using crumb cake cardstock and I'm going to be using this for my cup make sure that you have these are the thinlets make sure you have this the part that's raised up that'll be cutting into your cardstock make sure you have that face down on top of your cardstock and then just a little strip of our whisper white cardstock just you can use your scraps up for this and now I'm going to just put the top on here Press it down and just run it through. And I only have one more thing, whoops. I have one more thing I'm going to be running through the Big Shot. Let's take these off. So if you're not familiar with the Big Shot or you've never cut anything out, it's super fun. And you'll see in just a few minutes the cute little creation that we're going to make with this. I'm gonna set that aside and we're using it for one more item in just a second. Okay. And then, this cute, and this is so cute. This is gonna come together and you guys are gonna say, oh, that is so adorable, I love it. Because that's what I said when I finished it. And I'll show you the ones that I have already made earlier today. Okay, the last thing I'm using is our stitched shaped framelits. I use these a lot as well. So if you're looking for something that is very versatile, that you can use with all sorts of different projects and often, I highly recommend our stitched shaped Framelits, stitched shapes framelits. They come in a set that comes with circles, four different shape, four different sizes, ovals, and squares, four different sizes. So you you will use them all the time. I'm using this is the large circle, stitch circle, and I'm going to be cutting using early espresso cardstock. 
running this through. And now I can set my big shot aside and I can start putting this together super quick. And we have our stitched shaped framelit right here. Our stitched shaped circle, if that makes sense. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and start putting this cute little cup together. And I'm going to be using the regular dimensionals. I use these all the time. They come in a pack of 300, they're only $4. Totally worth it. I'm also using some of our mini glue dots. And I'm gonna start with my lid. And I'm just going to add on the back, here we are, just a glue dot on each side of the top of the, or the bottom of the lid. And then I'm just going to put it directly on top of my cup, like that. Okay, and now I'm going to take some dimensionals and I'm going to turn this piece over right here. And I'm going to add two of our dimensionals. And isn't this so adorable? Okay, now I'm gonna turn this over and I'm going to add just three dimensionals. Do kind of a zigzag to give it some coverage. And now I have the focal point, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said sorry, oops, sorry. I'm going to put this right here and just set it aside for now. And we're going to take our Whisper White, and I actually was just looking for a sentiment. I, these are for my top sales on my team, my top 10. So I just wanted something that said congratulations. So I pulled out Colorful Seasons. This is a great stamp set that has a coordinating framelit set with it as well, but I'm not using any of that. I just was looking for the sentiment, which is a wonderful way to show how versatile our stamp sets are. You can use them for anything. You can pull out the different sayings, the different images. You don't just have to stick with what it looks like it's intended for. So I'm using the congratulations and I'm going to be using garden green ink. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp first the congratulations going to stamp it right here on my whisper white paper and then I'm going to pull out our our classic label punch this is one of our punches and they actually store flat which is nice for storage it saves a lot of space and you just push this forward at the on the bottom and it opens up like this and then you keep it upside down when you're when you're punching with it and I want this one to be over here a little bit so I'm having my congratulations kind of over to the side and I'll show you why in just a few seconds. Okay, now I'm going to take just a little, little pair of my paper snips and I'm just going to cut one of the edges off like this. Just straight, really easy. And now I'm going to take our brand new, these are cute, they're the mini dimensionals. I call them the little baby dimensionals. They're just so cute. I just want to talk baby talk when I'm using them because they're just so adorable. I love them so much. I do, I do. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that baby talk about the dimensionals. Moving on. All right, so look at, this is coming together so nicely. I'm just going to put that right on the top of here and now we're almost done. So you can use your focal point, your image, and you actually could turn this into a card. You could add it on a scrapbook page and we're going to be using it for decor, for, some, for packaging. And we'll finish this up right now. The last element I'm going to add is some of our, um, sorry, I can't think of the name, enamel shapes. This is from the Regals family and I'm using one of these circles at the top, the dots, and I'm just going to add it right here just to add a little fun embellishment. And let's go ahead and package this up. So this is what I do. So this is a little bit bigger because I'm going to be, now sometimes the belly band, you want it to go back and forth. So if it is long enough, you can just attach them to each other and then whoever can just slip it off when you give it to them. But this one is a little bit, they are a little bit short and my, my Focal point is larger, so this will cover it. So I'm just going to add tape. So it actually will tape it to the package and to each other. And then I'm gonna take some dimensionals, some just regular, not the baby, just some regular dimensionals. And I'm going to add 
three on here as well. And peel off the back. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. And add this on here. And what a fun little present to give to someone. Now you could do this with anything. You could do this with a DVD. You could also do this with a CD for Christmas presents, neighbor gifts. You can do it with a lot of things. Here's another one that I packaged up earlier, just a different um, in one of our folders. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. You can find more on this channel, on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already, if you'd like to be notified when I update this channel, or you can visit me, mypinksamper.com. Don't forget, everything you saw in today's video can be ordered directly from my shopping page, mypinksamper.stampinup.net. I will have everything in the details on this video be below. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye. <music>